Hi, it's Adam from Web Starts, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a banner to your website or online store. Here, when I refresh my page, you can see this banner with the nice little animation comes in. I have a headline here, Memorial Day Sale, 50% off. I've got a button that when you click Shop Now, it takes you to the women's shirt category because that's the category I'm promoting. And then, of course, I have this lady over here that slides in from the left. Let me show you how I created that in Web Starts. So before I created my banner in Web Starts, I cut out this photo of this woman uh, from a an image that I uploaded from my local computer. So let me show you. I just uploaded an image just like that. I chose the cut out option. I selected the magic wand tool. I adjusted the tolerance down to like 18 and I selected light. And then I just clicked on the background about 10 times. And that took away all those little white jagged edges from around the photo of this lady. Next, I decided to crop that image. So I just kind of cut it in half and took her upper half and clicked save. And then I clicked download to download that image to my local computer. With that image downloaded, I moved on over to my Web Starts page editor. Here I am in the Web Starts page editor and I've selected the store page just for the demonstration purposes. And now I've selected my store widget and I used a smart handle to create some space. I'm just going to create plenty of space, drag this down to like 240 pixels. And then I clicked insert strip, added a strip to my page. And then I made that about 160 pixels tall and I changed the color fill to this nice little red color here. Next, I added some text to it, so I clicked text. I chose heading M, which was kind of a big, uh, larger font, and then I selected the text itself and changed it to white. And then I just typed Memorial Day sale 50% off. Next, I went ahead and I just inserted the image of the lady that I just showed you how I edited that in Pixlr X. And then I just resized it so that it fit nicely here on my banner. Once I was happy with that, I went ahead and added a button. I clicked add, I chose button. I decided to do a ghost button, but before I did that, actually, I went back to my store and I chose the women's shirt category. That generated a URL in my address bar. I then right clicked and copied that URL because I'm going to link to the women's shirt category from my button. So moving back over to my button, I select the link uh, icon that's attached to the button, choose another website, and then I just pasted that URL and clicked create link. Finally, I changed the border and text color so that they're white until you hover over them and then it changes to black. And then one more time, I selected the button and changed the words from click here to shop now. Want to actually make this banner a little bit taller. So I went ahead and did that using the smart handle. And then lastly, I just selected each element and then I chose an animation by selecting the animation icon attached to each. I made her slide in from the right and I made this title segment slide in from the left and the button I made slide in from the left as well. And I made the background fade in, so I just chose that option. Saved it all up tidied things up with the smart handle so that my store widget is properly displayed below it. And then I just viewed those changes on my live website to see how I like them. And there they are all done. I click on shop now, I go to the category and that's pretty much it. I guess this needed to come over a little bit. There we go. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to Create your very own free website or online store. See more helpful videos like this. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications as well as leave any questions or comments below.